Hello everyone! I'm going to be showing you how to put Dior's 5 Shadow palette on your lid. How to do it. Because sometimes seeing 5 colors on a palette, it's a little daunting. But it's really easy. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pretty much. When you do it. Uh, this is 708. And it's golds and browns. It's really earthy and bright and fun. So earthy and bright, I guess, are two opposite things. So this is a nice combo of both. It'll really help you feel that spring is here and you're just ready to be cheery. Alright, so first I'm going to start with my Aqua Eyes, which is from Makeup Forever. It's just a black, smudge-proof, waterproof eyeliner. I like to do that tight line right under there so I really have that mascara. When I put it on, it's really going to define the lashes. I primed my eyelids with my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, which is my favorite, as you guys know. I did my brows for with the Dior Show Brow Styler, which is a magic little tool from Dior, which everyone knows Dior has a lot of magic going on in their counter. I used the Skin Flash from Dior in number one to brighten my eye area because it's a little tired. I haven't really been sleeping well lately, but that's alright. So next, let's get started. So I'm going to start with this color right here with kind of a larger fluffy brush to do all over. So it's the lightest shade on the palette and you just are going to sweep it on. A nice light wash. You can always add more later. It's more of a translucent color with a little bit of pearl essence to it. Next, I'm going to use a medium size fluffy eyeshadow brush and this one is from Sephora, the airbrush collection. I'm going to use this gold in the center of the palette. A lot of the palettes, the center color is the one that goes up to the crease, but that's not always the case. It's on a case-to-case -case basis, but for the most part, that's how it goes. So we're going to pat and then sweep this up to the crease line and make sure we blend that edge so it's not harsh. So just like that. And if you're someone who just likes really simple, you can stop here, put some uh, mascara on, and out the door. So it's all up to you. Next, I'm going to use this kind of pencil brush. And this is great for working in the crease. And I am going to use this dark one, this brown right here. So we've got one, two, three. So we're on step three right now. So tap the brush or check it on your hand to make sure you don't have too much product. And I'm just going to sweep this into my crease line. Down a little bit, almost to that inside corner. Not connecting it to the lash line. Just getting a nice sweep of it in here. See? Like that? And then I'm going to go back with my lighter color here. So that's why you don't necessarily want to put a lot on when you first do it. Because if you layer more, you don't want it to be too much. So this is going to be my way of blending this darker color. So it's really nice and graduated. It just gives that beautiful dimension here. Really opening up the eye. Next, I'm going to go back to that medium size brush and this is the sparkly color. You can use it if you want, you don't have to. There's two spots that I would suggest putting it. You can either put it right here to enhance this lid area or I'm going to put it right on that brow bone, right above where I had the darker color. And I'm going to go all the way in and then out. So in this kind of rainbow shape. I'm going to go back with my bigger one and then blend that. So see, it's just really nice and beautiful eye. Especially these colors are just gorgeous. And then now we're going to go with this color. So one, two, three, four, and now five. So I'm using an angled brush and this is a gel liner. So do not add water to it, you do not need to. And try to keep it covered when you're not using the palette because otherwise it'll dry out and it'll be harder to put on because you want it to just smoothly go on. So we're going to work this in to the lash line. 
So you'll just get this nice kind of smoked line there. See? And then I'm going to get a little more. And then we're going to wing it out. Because as you guys know, I love winging out my eyeliner. So do quick strokes and then kind of just smooth ones. So I kind of didn't make it perfect. So I'm going to use this Dior Show Flash Corrector. It's amazing. It's exclusive to sex, so you guys better go run and get yours before they're all gone. And uh, it just is great. It erases any mistakes you did. And it doesn't mess up your makeup. Look at that. It's magic. It's like a magic eraser for your eye makeup. You know, they used to have the cuticle ones when you messed up for your nails. So this is that same concept, but it's a really gentle um, product in here that's erasing everything. And then it comes with extra tips so that when this one gets dirty, you can wash it and clean it. And then it can dry in here while you use a different one. It's really great. So there's your eye. You can do a little bit of the brown underneath if you want. I am not going to. And then you finish off with the best part, mascara, which everyone should have their Dior Show Maximizer right now. Please, go get it. It's going to give you amazing lashes. So you, I'm going to load this on here because I want some pretty, you know, extreme lashes. And I did it on the top and the bottom. I don't always do it on the bottom, except sometimes at night when I wear it as an overnight treatment. So I'm using the Dior Show X Stoss, the gold one. I'm just loading it on there. See how beautiful that mascara is. And Dior has a bunch of different mascaras, so you can always find your perfect mascara wardrobe there. If you don't want crazy lashes, try the Iconic. If you want just fluffy volume, try just the regular Dior show. I like big lashes, so I use the x -Dos. And sometimes I use the blackout over top to make them really nice and black. So this is the look and it was so easy, right? And when you're doing it yourself, you're not telling yourself how to do it. So it's going to go even quicker. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and enjoy me beautiful. Leave comments. Make sure you follow me on whichever social media you like to stay in touch with. I'm on Instagram, Tumblr, blog loving, Google, you know, blogger. So, um, Please make sure you follow me. Enjoy and be beautiful.